Hi, welcome everyone to another episode of Let's Talk Special Economic Zones. I'm your host, Ainsley Brown. Today's episode, we're going to talk about special economic zones and which model is best for you. And by model, I mean in terms of designing the zone regime all the way to what's your business model from an investor's perspective. And this is a very complex question. And it is important that a cookie cutter approach is not taken. All zones are unique, um, even within a regime designed, that is the, the law, the regulation, the rules, the procedures, one zone differs from another, even within a country, within the same regime. They carry out different functions. Even if they're within the same industry, the dynamics are going to be different. So if you're looking to invest, if you're looking to buy a zone, if you're looking to conduct operations in a zone, you cannot take a cookie cutter approach. So you look at uh, the success of someone else and then you say, okay, I'll just replicate what they did. Um, it's not quite as simple as that. You have to account for the different dynamics and make adjustments. So um, adopt and adapt. You can't just do a cookie cutter approach. What, what worked in one circumstance or one instance or may have worked 20, 30 years ago may not work now because certain dynamics, international rules, for example, have changed. Um, a good example of this is with the World Trade Organization, um, before there were uh, there weren't rules around um, the interaction between the zone and the and the domestic territory. Um, a lot of people expressly forbid forbid um, goods traveling from the zone into the domestic territory or restricted it to put a quota. On it, whether by policy or by, by by strict law and regulations, but this um, under the WTO rules would be seen as an export subsidy. And if you're part of the WTO, um, that that's a no-no. So trade between the zones and the domestic territory is to be as free flowing as possible. As possible, of course, duties will be paid or, or if they're applicable um, once. Uh, the, the, the goods are manufactured in the zone and then transmitted to the domestic territory. And the customs authority will deal with the collection of those um, applicable duties. So that has completely changed. So that particularly is important for the developing world because, of course, you want to protect your local or your domestic industries um, to a certain degree while building up and getting greater development and employment. But how you structure that has changed. You can't do that anymore, right? If you're going to follow the, the strict WTO um, rules or you pay potential consequences of um, your trade partners um, taking you to the um, domestic resolution, or I mean, um, dispute resolution mechanism of the WTO, um, alleging damages that you've damaged their industries and so forth, right? So that dynamic has changed. And even recently with the OECD and the um, corporate global corporate income tax, minimum income tax of 15%, again, rules have changed. Um, so zones have to now start to distinguish themselves more and more increasingly, not so much around fiscal incentives and, and institute a race to the bottom, but in effect, a race to the top. How do you distinguish yourself? Uh, likewise, investors in zones will have to do or will be directed in some ways to start doing doing that. How do you direct? How do you differentiate yourself um, in a way um, from other zone zone uh, developers um, in terms of the service offerings that you you give or the design and, and build out of your of your zone? So, as I said before, a cookie cutter approach cannot work or does not work well. Um, because what worked in a certain circumstance or what worked in a country or what worked for a particular company or an investor at a particular time may not work now. So you have to take a look at the, the lay of the land as it is now 
and design your zone, design your investment model, design your business models around the reality as it is now and project into the future. So zones are never, uh, uh, or it's never a wise idea to just take a cookie cutter approach to zone development or zone regime design. All right. So if you like this episode, please like and share. Um, leave a comment down below. And if you have any idea of uh, future episodes that you want me to do, just leave a comment down below and I'll get right back to you. Bye for now.